Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. It's your boy, Tell Biz. All right, you guys. Well, the Golden State Warriors got ran out the gym last night. Um, they got worked. Um, nothing really to talk about because the Warriors basically didn't do nothing. They got shut down in every facet of the game. Mike Brown might have did some of the worst coaching i ever seen in my life. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the Warriors couldn't get nothing going. And I got to say this, and this is just real talk, just watching the game and stuff, watching the highlights and all that kind of stuff. I got to say this, and I'm just going to be completely honest. As far as, you know, Dub Nation go, I'm just going to tell you now. Um, the Warriors just, they just don't look like a championship caliber team. I'm sorry. Where they have games where they look like they can win it all, then they have these type of games. And I'm going to tell you right now, the Warriors are not going to beat Milwaukee. If the Warriors play Milwaukee in the finals, the way they're playing, they're going to lose to Milwaukee in probably five. And do I dare say sweep? And that's if they get past Memphis. And then they got to deal with more than likely Phoenix. I think they could beat Dallas. But Phoenix... That's going to be tough. So I'll get to the Bucks in a second video. I'll get to the Bucks uh, in, a, in, a, in another video because I got to talk about the Bucks. I said this about the Bucks. Until the Bucks actually get knocked off, you got to give them some respect and put some respect on their name. But yeah, the Golden State Warriors, they play terrible. But at the end of the day, I did expect them to lose game five because like I said this Memphis team is very athletic and they're very physical and they can win without John Moran John Moran is their best player but at the end of the day they're stacked they got great players I know that you know a lot of the other players don't get the credit that they deserve but you know at the end of the day Memphis is a damn good team and I think Memphis if they keep that core team together Memphis may be a favorite to win it all next year or at least a favorite to represent the west in the finals they are a very good team and that's just real talk like i said as far as the warriors go um like i said um i don't know when steve kerr is coming back maybe he'll be ready to go we all know what happened to him uh you know he got the uh you know the you know the razor ramona you know now i'm not gonna talk about the whole you know potion thing or whatever but um you only have to quarantine i think for three days now so he should be ready to go probably the next game he should be he should be okay now i will say this much the warriors i think it would be in their best interest to close them out in game six in San Francisco because I'm going to tell you right now, if the Warriors lose game six, I think the Warriors will lose the series. You don't want to have to go back to Memphis to play a seventh game. I think the Warriors have to win game six. They have done great protecting uh, home court. You know, they've done, they've done a great job protecting home court, so they need to win. I think they need to close it. I, I thought they would close it out in six, and I think they'll get it done. But, however, like I said, if they lose game six and they have to go back to Memphis for game seven, uh, the Warriors are not going to win game seven. And then, once again, we have to discuss, should Steve Kerr keep his job? That's just real talk. But, anyway, let me know what you think. It's your boy Tail Biz. I am out. Boom!